Hi, I'm Kim Sune with MyRecipes.com, and this is Local Flavor. In most cities, there are Asian supermarkets, and in New Orleans, there's a really great one called Hong Kong Market. Everyone shops there, including some of the top chefs in the city. What I love about these markets is that you can get very familiar ingredients, and then you can also find something new and exotic, like a beautiful fresh fruit that you might have never seen before. Going to these Asian supermarkets is a great way to spice things up in your kitchen. Americans, we love Asian food, and it often says, go to your local Asian market. And a lot of people are afraid to do that. Right. But you, you don't only find those, you know, the strange things. That well, you know, like, expect. you see stuff like this. Look at this jackfruit. This okay. is amazing. You got Korean melons. I mean, and how much different can this be from a regular melon? And I love these long eggplant. I mean, you can treat them just like a regular eggplant. Just split them down the middle, broil them. They're amazing. You know, when I'll see something like this, I'll kind of keep it in mind and I'll look at it. So it's, oh, it's Indian bitter melon. So next time I go to an Indian restaurant, I'll kind of go like, hey, y'all have any bitter melon back there? And then I'll see how the chefs prepare it there. And then maybe next time I'll, I'll pick up some ideas on how to do it. Smell that. Wow. As a chef, we'll cook, you know, and, and I'll see this and I'll be like, wow, what am I going to do with this? I'll smell it. And then it, okay, reminds me kind of a mint, uh, kind of an herb. You know, the, the ingredient itself will remind you of something else and usually if you treat it the way you would the one you're familiar with you come up with a dish that's pretty close or you know uh, to what you're thinking so you have all the um, the different um barbecue um pig it's like you know, the, the raquettes up there with right their exactly little, um... kind of reminds me of yeah the, and you got the head down here the shanks over here the barbecue ducks chickens should we get some roast pig? Yeah. Right now they have some great, um, pompano. one of the best fish that comes out of the Gulf is a pompano. So I think we're gonna get some pompano it's for the really restaurant delicate. tonight. The first indicator of freshness is the eyes. The eye. You know, the eyes are nice and clear and they don't, they, they have, you know. Looks, Not cloudy. Right, no. you don't want them to be cloudy. Uh, most of them are going to be kind of a reddish color, and then the next step would be you're going to you're going to grab some and you're going to smell it. You're going to look at it. The fish, you know, the, th these are whole. These haven't even been gutted yet. So I'm going to look. I'm going to smell them. And it smells like the ocean. It's got a nice, Metallic. briny smell. You know, and 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 it's a fresh fish. You can still see the blood. That's great because you know what, blood is good. So maybe maybe if you can you trim this up for me like this. Right now. And then, yeah, and then take the guts out and then leave the whole fish whole. Okay, right now. Okay? Six, Six of them. You shouldn't be afraid of whole fish. You just ask the fishmonger, they'll clean it up for you and take it home and it's ready to cook. You always want to let the market tell you how to cook because I think that's going to be the best way to eat. What's when the market fresh? says, this is fresh, then let's go with that. And I think, I think a lot of times we lose connection to where our food comes from. But when you come here, you get connected to the food. And as a chef, that this keeps us grounded, I think, to see where, where the stuff is coming from and, and the quality of the, of the uh, product is important. 